Good morning Beacon Kids, it's me and Isla here. The, we want to welcome you to the kids' work this morning. We've been learning about the Sermon on the Mount in the last series, and we've been learning about being part of God's Kingdom. So today we are going to talk about prayer. So Isla, what is prayer? It's when you talk to God. That's right, it's when we talk and God listens to us, and we can tell him what we want him to know. So. Daddy is going to read the scripture for today. Daddy's got it on his phone. So that's quite exciting, isn't it? So today is from Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 12. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, give him a snake? If you then, though are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything you do to others, what you would have do to them do to you? For this sums up the law and the prophets. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. So God is asking us, to pray to him and ask him for things. That's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Now we've read that scripture, I'm gonna give you a real life example of how this is put into practice. Imagine you were playing in your back garden, playing a game of football, and you accidentally kicked the ball over the fence. You would go over to the fence, you'd call your neighbor and see if they were there. But if they weren't there and they weren't responding, you'd go and seek the ball. You'd go up to the fence and see if you could find the ball over the fence but if you couldn't find it by looking you'd have to go all the way around and go and find him so you'd have to go to their front door you'd have to knock on the door and to see if they'd answer that's just like god you'd call on his name to see him there then you'd look through the garden you'd seek him and then you knock on the door so that you could get you what you wanted that like the ball you'd go and find it to see if you can get it and like God, you would bring what you would need or what you're seeking to him and wait for him to respond to him. To back up that scripture we've been listening to, we are going to make prayer hands. So all you need is a bit of paper, your hands and a pen. So we're going to draw around our hand to start with Isla. Daddy's got a black pen, you've got a orange, orange pen. pen. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop our hand on the paper and we're going to draw around our hands. Can you draw around our hands? Yeah. That's good. Let's keep going. That's it. Good job. Fantastic. Can you show everyone your hand? And Daddy, a show. It's Isla's hand. So on our hands, we are going to write our memory verse for today. Today's one is, God blesses those people who depend only on him. And that's Matthew chapter five, verse three. So we are going to end it by putting things. We are going to pray on each finger. So we can pray for friends. We can pray for family. We can pray for our school, pray for our pets, and we can pray for our work for mummy and daddy's work or our school work that we need to do or anything that you want to you can choose whatever goes on your fingers so what would you put on yours isla uh, my school. your school that's really good uh, and your pet milo what is milo tell everyone who milo it's is a rabbit. it's our pet rabbit that's really good Alright guys, we're going to use our prayer hands that we made earlier so we can do a prayer to God and to say thank you for things and ask him for things that we need. So we're going to say a prayer now. So for me, I'm going to pray, Dear God, thank you for my friends and family and please help them to keep safe, keep well and look after each other well. I pray for my school and my daughter's school that they are kept well and they're working well and the teachers at work there are well looked after. I want to pray for our pets that we have, that our pets are well looked after for, uh, whatever we have, that 
we can look after them and they can look after us. And I want to pray for all of our work, for the school work that we have to do and the work that our parents and everyone else has to do at this time. I pray this all in your name. Amen. Thank you for listening to our prayer. Ida would like to share one of the videos that she made in the summer of her singing one of her favourite songs. I hope you have a good week and I hope this puts you in a really good mood. Take care. See you soon. Hello everybody. Today we are going to be singing Our God is a Great Big God. Please can you join with me? Our God is a great big God.